We are gonna learn how to use links in Linux, but before that, we have to know what's inode or index node. Every file in Linux has an inode, so in simple term, we can say that inode contains administrative or let's say metadata about files. But what's administrative or metadata? Well, basically, it's everything but the file name and its contents. So inode contains all the information such as file size, file type, permissions, owner information, number of links, and etc. But it doesn't contain a file name. So basically, inode is something like an ID card without a name written on it. There is one more thing that inode contains is inode number. So I'm going to create a few files here. Let's see that we don't have any files. So let's use touch command and then write files. Let's say that there will be 10 files. A little command displays the one we thing and basically it is the alias of ls minus l. So if we use i option, we can see the inode numbers of the files. We have to use ll and then provide i option. Now we have additional column here that shows inode numbers. We don't need to know much about inodes, but for the sake of simplicity, we can say that inodes just point to the some storage blocks in our storage devices, for example, hard disk. In your hard disk, there's a space that will be reserved for the inode when you create a file. And the inodes contains the permissions, the file size, the user, the group, the timestamps, and etc. If you look at the file size, you will see that it is zero bytes, but actually all this information takes some space. The file size is zero because all administrative information is written to inodes, which points to some storage blocks in your hard disk. So it's really important to understand inodes, so you can do some research on Google. But for this course, this tutorial is more than enough to get some information about inodes. So in the next video, we're going to use links and see how they are related to inodes.